what is toxic positivity and how do I respond to it? Uh, I love talking about toxic positivity. Uh, toxic positivity is also sometimes uh, taking the form of spiritual bypassing. So it's essentially this way of being like, no negativity ever. Um, which, here's the thing, y'all. <laughs> That's not real life. Uh, anyone who's like, never talk about bad things. Let's only talk about good things. The problem is, Systems in which you are not allowed to address things that are negative or bad or challenging are ones in which people cannot grow and they are rife for abuse. Um, toxic positivity is often this way of like finding the positive in every situation. So like, yes, your cat died, but like think about it, that they're, at, they're not in pain anymore. What a beautiful place they've gone to in the afterlife. Isn't it so lovely that you got to have time with them? Sometimes toxic positivity is this way that people shut down someone else's pain or challenging feelings for the sake of their own comfort, right? That they don't feel comfortable with this other person being upset. It makes them feel uncomfortable. It makes them feel like not sure what to do. So what they're gonna do instead is like find the way to get like out of these challenging feelings and into something more positive and easier and nicer. Uh, and look, <laughs> If there's ever been a great example of toxic positivity in a whole lot of ways, it's the way that we're just like pretending COVID doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that we're just like back to normal. Things are great. We're just going to do a little bit of eugenics. Yeah, like people who are sick and old, they're probably going to die, but yeah, that's the cost so we can still go out to dinner. Um, and I get it, right? Like this is not about individual choices, right? Individual choices right now are so strongly controlled by the way that the larger context is making it very, very difficult for any of us to make good choices. And uh, COVID numbers are surging, hospitalizations are surging, shit's real bad, but no one's masking anymore and the government sure as shit isn't telling anybody to mask because the pandemic is over, the public health emergency is over, right? Which is this way of like trying to hang on to a positivity that is not rooted in reality and that is about papering over something that is difficult or uncomfortable rather than addressing something that needs to be addressed. Um, spiritual bypassing is a thing that a lot of like spiritual folk do, uh, some of all different spiritual flavors and stripes, uh, that looks again at this like finding a positive lens rather than dealing with challenging emotions, right? And so it could be the like, Oh yeah, I got in a car accident. I don't know how I'm gonna afford another car. Oh, God never sends you anything that you can't handle, right? Or, you know, yeah, I know this terrible thing's been happening to me, but you know, this must be a way that I'm growing. This must be some of the growth that I need from the universe. This is the universe's way of helping me to grow and develop and be better. Um, we are, particularly here in the United States, but in a lot of Western cultures, we are in societies that discourage us from engaging in too much depth with challenging feelings or with making space for challenging feelings. Uh, coming back to COVID, we've lost over a million people in the United States. How are we grieving that? We lost years of time where we were isolated, we were depressed, we were scared, we were unsafe. How are we grieving and acknowledging that? How are we acknowledging all of the fear and the worry and the anxiety that we had to hold during this pandemic and that many of us are still holding? We aren't, right? There's this way that we just want to pretend those hard feelings aren't there, put them in a box, shove the box in the back of a closet, close the door of the closet, never look at it again. But that is not healthy. That's called repression and repression Man, it just like takes those bad feelings, those challenging feelings, and gives them all the space in the world to just keep swirling and growing and getting nastier and worse in the back of our heads. Positivity is not bad, right? There's nothing wrong with being positive. And we need balance. None of our feelings are bad feelings. They might be challenging, they might be hard, but all of our feelings give us information. They give us information about where we are hurting, where we are being wronged, whether a boundary is being violated, if we're grieving, if we've lost something, right? Our feelings are telling us things. Our feelings are giving us very important feedback 
about how we are and what is going on for us. When we try to avoid any feelings that feel challenging or that feel uncomfortable or that we don't like, we end up not just like shoving those feelings into a place where they get to like fester forever. We also end up losing all the information that we were supposed to get from those feelings. If I refuse to let myself feel angry and somebody does something terrible to me, it's going to be much harder for me to identify that what they did was not okay because the anger is what helps us see that. If I am feeling really sad because I lost something, but I try to just convince myself to like, move on, everything's fine, just keep going forward, best life, whatever, look amazing. I'm not giving myself space to grieve. We need those challenging feelings. And so when all we are willing to experience is the positive, when all when we want good vibes only, good vibes only, what we are doing is limiting our lives. We are limiting our ability to understand ourselves in the world. We're limiting our abilities to advocate for ourselves. We're setting ourselves up with a whole bunch of landmines that we're gonna end up tripping later, that are just gonna sit there waiting for us to hit them. So toxic positivity is again this way of trying to shut down anything that feels challenging or uncomfortable or like not good to us for the sake of like just focusing on the positive. And while on the surface, it makes sense why folks would wanna do that, it is much worse for you in the long run.